Artisans and welcome to the next episode of this horrible Minecraft map. In this episode we're showing you Gerudo Fortress. Um, first of all, uh, I'm a bit ill so I apologise if I, if I go a bit weird or grubby or if I forget stuff. Um, hopefully um, yeah, I won't, it won't happen too often. But um, I'd like to say a quick thank you for reaching 500, over 500 subscribers. Um, yeah, I don't really know what to say other than thank you so much for all the support. There will be a video going up um, soon, not sure how soon, maybe the next week or two weeks or so, uh, dedicated to you, all you guys, you subscribers. Um, yeah, that will, yeah, as I said, that'll be much better thank you than uh, than, uh, than the one that I'm doing now. But um, yeah, here is Gerudo Fortress. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, clouds quite high, but um, I'm sure there's a way to get rid of clouds somehow. But I don't know how yet. Not in this version of AdventureCraft, anyway. So we'll get, get right into it. Uh, one thing that um, you might notice is that it's been scaled down quite a bit. So it's a, it's a bit smaller than um, what you'd normally see, uh, what it would normally look like. But um, it's that's because I wanted uh, the fortress to, or, or rather the, the outside of the fortress, I wanted it to kind of blend, um, blend well with the inside. I didn't want it to be kind of, Cut in, cut out into like, um, like in the actual game where they um, cut to, I don't know. But um, yeah, so I, I tried to make it all kind of blend together rather than like doors, if that makes sense. Probably not. Probably just talking gibberish. But yeah, so it, it, the, it's been scaled down and some of the corridors are a bit longer and short together, but that's all uh, just to, yeah, make it all blend together. But I uh, hope you like it. It was uh, it's quite a maze, this part. Um, hopefully I'll go through most of it. Um, but uh, yeah, um, so I'm also running a bit, a tiny bit behind now as well. Uh, that's because I um, of other things that I'm working on, but hopefully it shouldn't affect the uh, this map too much. That is, that the next uh, episode of this should be on schedule, which would be the oh. Desert Colossus. Uh, no, not Desert Colossus, the Haunted Wasteland, and possibly the Desert Colossus as well, which would be uh, nice to do. But we'll see how much uh, time I've got. Um, the archery range. Right away. Which, uh, this is the bit you saw in the last video, probably the, that's that edge over there. Yeah, it's got the targets. It'd be nice to make this an actual working thing as well. As for how I've no idea. That would be something for more talented um, uh, coders and people who work on mods, modders, that's what I was looking for, more talented modders um, to work on. Me, I, I just, I just try and build stuff. That's, uh, that's, that's what's, that's the thing. Skilled players. And, and there's one more area to show now, and that is the, uh, the Gerudo training ground. Which um, is that's the only area that hasn't really been. You'll see what I mean. That hasn't been melded into the uh, fortress. That's a some kind of little separate area. So yeah, we'll go left first. So. Uh, yeah, this is where you... Oh, spoilers, in case you haven't done this before. Actually, the first time I played this game, I completely missed the treasure 
to treasure in this dungeon. Get the ice arrow. But uh, yeah, so and normally yeah, they'd be the the uh, kind of flame barriers that would pop up to block your way as well. Um, yeah, so the bits I've taken a few liberties this thing. I kind of uh, I've done. I've um, yeah, that's the block that you push. Let's put it down there. So I've kind of done that already. And the uh, like like slugs where you get. Stuff. I think actually one of those chests freezes you. That might be in the 3DS game, but I oh know when I went th when I um see there is how I build these is um I use the uh, actually yeah, I don't think I've told you how I build these maps. So it's okay. It's okay sorry. So what I do is I I've got the 3DS game, which is where I do some of the building, and then I've got maps. I downloaded. Um, whole maps of areas from online um, and I use them I use those maps to uh, map out the kind of the uh, kind of like a top down view of the area so I get like the dimensions of the runes and some of the details but if I want the finer details then I'll go to the 3DS game and just have a look around and kind of finish off the minor detailing. But uh, I'll just quickly go fly across this. Whoops. There we go. So yeah, yeah. So I use um, the uh, the maps I download to get the the uh, size of the rooms, the general structure of the rooms. Uh, actually, the Temple of Time blocks there, but uh, there aren't. Uh, yeah, and then the 3DS I use for detailing. And that's our Bob Maps. Uh, so I think that's, I, to begin with, for the first few uh, maps I did, uh, I actually played the game on my uh, Nintendo 64 with my laptop and just slowly went through, but after th three, like three, um, after the first three videos, it was getting a bit, there's a lot of hassle. So I, um, I, I got the 3DS game and used that because it was a lot, made it a lot easier. And after that, I just started down with the maps and I made it a lot faster than that. So it's been a kind of developing process of how I build these maps. But um, at the moment, it's uh, it's had a good... No, oh, come on. Uh, there we go. Yeah, at the moment, it's, it's had a kind of good pace. I'm, I'm managing to get these um, out at a reasonable pace. Um, and yeah, giving you... Turn the fly off. Uh, yeah, so now they're they're kind of at a steady pace now. It's not quite so um, uh, tedious. And here we have the uh, thing. We get the the ice arrow, where you collect all your smoke. Oh, I've gone the wrong way. Good. Okay. Yeah, here you get. You know what? Uh, the final treasure, which uh, yeah, in the first playthrough, so I never got. I didn't get it. It was uh, something I completely missed. I don't know if it's because I I couldn't get all the keys. Like I, uh, there was a key missing. I went the wrong way, and then I struggled to find the last key, wherever it was. But um, yeah, eventually did it at some point. And there you get the ice arrow. That's kind of a the best representation representation I could do. Snowball and arrow equals a ice arrow. Of course it does. And that is Gerudo Fortress. The next one will be the Haunted Wasteland or the Gerudo Desert. I think it's called as well. Um, 
I'll try and do the entrance to the Desert Colossus as well. But we'll see how much time we've got, because I really want to do this thank you video for you guys. So that's going to take a bit of time. And But hopefully she's right. The, desert, the Haunted Wasteland isn't too difficult. It's just a big, it's a bit, a big desert, basically. Um, so... Yeah, that, that, yeah, it should be all right. Yeah. But um, if not, you know why. It's uh, because of other things. So yeah, up here. So with that, artisans, thank you for the 500 subscribers. You have no idea how much that means to me. And as I said, the thank you video will um, portray my thanks a lot more. It'll be, it'll be a lot more heartfelt than it is right now. Um, so thank you everyone and thank you very much for watching artisans and I'll see you soon